logging road that's on the east side of uh, McDavitt Road. On the west side there, there's a little parking lot. And then there's a little trail that takes you back away from the away from the road. I thought I'd check it out. Split, the splits here. Part of it heads down that way. I think I'm going to go this way. Of course, since I have snowshoes on, there's nothing really that says I have to follow a trail. I guess it was easier walking. Definitely still easier to walk on the uh, on the trail that others have made than it is to uh, push through this snow on snowshoes. So the problem is the trail is a little bit narrow for my snowshoes. So I guess I'm widening the trail and packing it down for other people. Providing a service. It's not a real pretty, pretty, but uh, in its own way, it's beautiful. The temperature is great. In fact, if anything, I'm getting a little bit hot, but that's because I'm kind of overdressed for what I'm doing. But uh, I can, if that's okay, um, I probably. Should have dropped a, a layer back at the car. I could drop one now, but uh, I mean, he's getting all these packs and outer layers off and all the rest of it, so it's like, I don't think so. Unfortunately, I ripped the crotch out on my snow pants. Uh, I had problems with the harness on one of my snowshoes so I kneeled down to get that fixed and in the process I heard a big rip and I looked down and there's the 
scratch on my soap and it's wide open. Maybe I'll have to put a zipper in there or something. But anyway, I do need those on for wind protection right now. Because, uh, I don't know if you can see the snowflakes falling, but they're going a little bit sideways once in a while. So, the fleece pants on their own just let too much wind in. The trail is really starting to peter out here. Not so many people made it back this far along this trail. That's why I have snowshoes on. So, can I can kind of continue this for about 15 more minutes and then it'll be time to turn around and head back to the car. I had no real destination out here. I just uh, wanted to come out, see if I could get some photos. I haven't really seen a lot of photo ops yet. But at least I've been getting a lot of, a lot of nice video, I think. I gotta practice those skills too. Uh, speaking about photo ops, I might have just found one or two of these old roots all covered with snow. Might be something I can shoot in there. Something artistic. Now I'm heading back towards the car. Just taking the same trail out that I took in. Probably won't take me as long to get back to the car as I did to get out here, because for one thing, I'm going to be following the tracks I just made on the way in, packing this trail down, widening it. For another thing, I doubt I'll be stopping and taking as many videos on the way out. Yeah, I hardly took any time to get back here at all. There's my car in the parking lot up there. Amazing how much distance one can cover in a relatively short length of time when you're not stopping and taking pictures and setting up special video shots and all the rest of that. All that takes takes time. It's fun to do.